They'll go inside the House of Thor trap to get the bait, chew on the string, and when they do, we got them. Today for Mouse Trap Monday, we're gonna catch mice and maybe even rats in the barn with a 3D printed trap invented by a YouTube viewer. If you watch my channel for a while now, you know his name. I've featured more of his traps on my YouTube channel than any other inventor in the world. His name is Marcus from Sweden, and today we're gonna test out his latest creation. He calls it the House of Thor, based off the look of a longhouse that was once used by the Vikings. Now Marcus has been making this style of mousetrap for many years, and he's always coming up with new and better ways to improve it. Generation after generation, he's been making the better mousetrap until he's come up with the ultimate rodent trapping system. Some major improvements from those early designs, which had a wire noose, a straight lever, and was powered with rubber bands, are these double snares right here. I really like these. These nooses down on the bottom have teeth. In the front, there's two sharp teeth and one up top. That way, it will grab any mouse or rat that goes inside. There's even a second noose with fine serrated teeth in back. That way, once they get caught, they are in there. There's no way they're gonna escape. And these are pulled up with a very powerful spring. Actually, a double set of springs back here. This lever is a Z shape. Originally, it was straight, but this gives it much more power with a low profile. And with all that power, it can be difficult to set. That's another major improvement. Before, we had to hold it down with our hand, but now there's two holes in this front noose, which line up with two holes right here. There's even a key in back. We'll pull this out, it's kind of stuck in there. That way, you have both hands to set the trap, and you don't have to worry about it springing up. Now, that's another major improvement. In the past, there were holes we had to have a needle and thread the string through, but not now. There are grooves right here. You see how those come to a point? In the bottom, we don't even have to tie the knots. This groove here is designed to hold a piece of hemp. It locks in place right there. Now it follows this path. It goes up and over. So we do a 90 degree. Holding down our lever. And back through to the other side. And again, lock it in the groove. That way you can pull out the key and it's held down. Now inside the opening, past the double snares, there's our string, the trigger string, holding down the lever. It's blocking the bait. You put peanut butter back there so the rodent wants to get it, but they can't go until they chew through the string. Another great feature Marcus came up with is a bait syringe. It's filled with peanut butter. You'll just put it back there. It'll squeeze out. Those strings are covered. I'm gonna push the bait back even farther so they really have to work at it. Now when the mouse smells the bait, it will stick his head and body in the noose. It will chew on the strings, trying to get the peanut butter. And when it does, we got it. Now we're gonna go set up the motion cameras in the barn and catch mice and rats with the House of Thor trap. But I have to be very careful with what I show on YouTube. So I came up with a solution. Here's a box here with a tunnel. The mouse will enter, go down the tunnel, line up with our trap and get caught. If it's perfectly in the back here, that should work. Let's go set up the motion cameras and see what happens. Well, last night, an epic battle ensued when a mouse invaded the house of Thor. It was frustrated. There was string blocking its path to the bait. It chewed on it and got caught. Now, we know this trap works well with mice, but can it catch a rat? There's only one way to find out. Let's go set up the motion cameras and see what happens.
Well, last night we learned our 3D printed trap will not only catch mice, we can also catch small rats. Now I don't want the mouse and rat we caught to go to waste, so I'm going to feed them to wild animals. Let's go set them up at the compost pile and see what comes along and enjoys a two course meal. Course number one, a mouse. And course number two, a rat. Well, it looked like our friend the skunk enjoyed being fed by the House of Thor mousetrap. Overall, it's a great design, especially for mice and young rats. I wouldn't use it on big rats, but for small rodents, it's perfect. Thank you so much to Marcus for letting me test it out. If he makes the plans available online, I'll post a link down below in the description. Thank you so much for watching my videos, and thanks to all the viewers who have sent me art. I love seeing the pictures. I also love seeing pictures of people's pets watching Mousetrap Mondays. If you haven't subscribed, please consider clicking that button. I've posted over 600 videos on YouTube and currently I'm posting new videos every Monday and Friday. So if you want to see the best videos on how to catch mice, rats, squirrels, chipmunks, moles, voles, and gophers, stay tuned.